Hello everyone, I am Howdy Playlist, and today I'm going to be doing my WWE Payback 2023 predictions. Let's start off with the World Heavyweight Championship match between Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, Seth Rollins has been a very dominant World Heavyweight Champion ever since he won it back in Night of Champions. But here's, I have two different outcomes in my head. And in both outcomes, Seth Rollins does retain. But here's the thing. You know how Shinsuke Nakamura has been talking about Seth Rollins' bad back. I feel like in one circumstance, he's going to really damage Seth Rollins' back, but then Seth Rollins is still going to pull through and defeat him. But then later down the line, the next time he defends the title, it's probably going to be his last. Then I think he's probably going to go out for injury. The other outcome is that he still retains, but then Damian Priest comes and cash in Money in the Bank. But either way, I think Seth Rollins would win this match. Up next we have the Steel City Street Fight for the Undisputed Tag Team Championships. We have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defending the titles against Judgment Day members Finn Balor and Damian Priest. Now, this rivalry has been going on for, like, what, a couple months? And uh, I feel like this could be a good ender of the rivalry. Rhea Ripley did say that the Judgment Day will be walking out with titles. And I'm pretty sure if I'm pretty sure they can still win this, but I'm thinking not. Like I said, Damian Priest could always cash in on Seth Rollins later that night. But uh, I'm going to go with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They seemed really good as tag team champions. They defeated a lot of good tag teams. So for this match, I'm going with Owens and Zayn. Up next, we have the Women's World Championship match between Rhea Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez. Or, oh no, no, not Gonzalez. That's the old name. Raquel Rodriguez. I feel like Rhea Ripley has been very dominant as the Women's World Champion. But it's about time that we have a new champion. I think Raquel will be a good champion for a while. So, I think it's going to be like... She's going to hit the Tejana Bomb, then pin Rhea Ripley for the championship. But you never know. The Judgment Day could interfere and cost her the match. But uh, I'm going to go with Raquel. Up next, we got LA Knight versus The Miz in a singles match. I got to say, uh, I didn't really pay much mind to LA Knight when he first got to the main roster. You know, he had that thing with Bray Wyatt. By the way, rest in peace to Bray Wyatt. But uh, ever since, you know, that Bray Wyatt match, he's been, like, you know, pretty good. I, I love his in-ring ability. He's taken down foals by himself. He's taken down tag teams by himself. I can see, like, a lot of people, a lot of people like LA Knight and a lot of people don't. People are just saying he's just a mix of Stone Cold and The Rock, which I can kind of see that, but then again... He's kind of his own man, you know. Uh, the Miz, I love the Miz. You know, I thought he, I think he's a really good superstar, but I think LA Knight is going to get the win. I, I'm sure Miz is probably going to do like his usual shenanigans to try to defeat LA Knight, probably cheat. But the, but I feel like LA Knight's going to pull through and defeat the Miz for the win. I choose LA Knight. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is a guest star on the Grayson Waller effect. I feel like this is going to lead into a match between Cody Rhodes and Grayson Waller. So if they do happen to have a match, I'm going to go with Cody Rhodes. Grayson Waller is actually a really good talent. I love his finisher. Uh, I love his in-ring ability. But I feel like Cody Rhodes is too hot right now to lose to Grayson Waller. So if this interview turns out to be a match... I'm going with Cody Rhodes, but if not, I feel like they're going to have a really good interview on the Grayson Waller effect. Up next, we have the United States Championship match between Rey Mysterio and Austin Theory. 
Austin Theory defeated LA Knight on an episode of SmackDown to get an opportunity to face Rey Mysterio for the championship again. Now, I know they probably want a, a Latino champion, but I feel like this storyline is going to cause conflict between the LWO because Santos Escobar was originally going to face Austin Theory for the United States Championship, but then Austin Theory ambushed him. Then Rey Mysterio came back, took the opportunity, and defeated Austin Theory to become the United States Champion. And a lot of people are speculating, you know, Santos Escobar defeated Rey Mysterio that one time to er to earn the opportunity, but then he just comes back and just takes the opportunity. This could cause conflict between LWO, but they seem pretty strong. Last time uh, they were on SmackDown, uh, they really defended themselves against Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. The upcoming episode of SmackDown, tomorrow they're going to have a tag team match. Let's hope they uh, can stay together as a team and uh, not get in each other's way. But I'm thinking it's going to be Austin Theory becoming a three-time United States champion. He's going to do it. So my my pick is Austin Theory. Last match we have is Becky Lynch versus Trish Stratus inside a steel cage. Becky Lynch had a very awesome and extreme false count anywhere with Zoe Stark. But I feel like Trish Stratus is going to find a way to defeat Becky Lynch either with the help of Zoe Stark or just plain cheating. I feel like uh, Stratus is going to take the victory. I pick Stratus. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my predictions for Payback 2023. If you guys enjoy this, I might be doing more prediction videos. Stay tuned for more uploads. Have a good day.